A few minutes ago, I arrived at Hostel Kotupur, Koturpa, Koturpa. So this is my hostel in this old town. My guess is that a good part of this hostel that I don't normally see uh, is for the family. We'll just walk about. Down here is a restaurant, but they play music so loud. It's the last place I'm gonna go. Reservation, but early, I got up at six. Uh, everything went seamless. I got to Kitombe, uh, main terminal in the south, um, 20 minutes and got my ticket 20 minutes before my bus was leaving for here. And that's great. That lets you off here on the highway with a, about a 15 minute walk up the hill. And this is my little room, much more um, old fashioned because <clears throat> it's been in this tiny little town for a long time. It's the popular one. Others I'm sure are trying. It was $20 a night with di uh, breakfast or 17 without. View from the room. It's chilly here because I think it's a little bit higher than uh, Quito. But uh, they have those heavy woolen blankets I'll show you. Not like comforters. These are those heavy wool blankets that you see in South America that are oftentimes fantastically warm. But there's also a plug-in heater whether it works or not. Next to my room, which is 311, is the emergency exit, which in my history is a valuable thing to have close by. So this is the inside of this older hostel. Here you can get a, I don't know if that's a dorm or not. Pretty layout. The downstairs reception. Not sure what's downstairs, we'll find out in a moment. This is beautiful cedar wood. Uh, it's a very pretty wood, like that anyway. And this is the downstairs where uh, breakfast is served. I don't know if they serve anything else. I don't get the sense they do. And I don't intend to cook for myself, although I may have access to the refrigerator. The Vanales. The public baths here. Somewhere around here there's the falls. And I'll look for that in a few minutes, but we're just gonna cruise around. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. This is my hostel. That first floor that you see there is where that cafeteria or the dining room area was. It's a noisy restaurant. The public baths here. Somewhere around here there is the falls. And I'll look for that in a few minutes, but we're just gonna cruise around. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. This is my hostel. That first floor that you see there is where that cafeteria or the dining room area was. It's a noisy restaurant. A lot of noise going on. Isn't that a pretty tree? Gorgeous flowers. Gosh. Roses, of course. water hydrant. So a restaurant. Menus look to be pretty much the same. Now I got to just figure out what they mean. Human beans, okay. Of course. Down the street there is where the highway is. I came up through that dirt road to avoid the highway or the road into town. And there's the route down to our hostel. There's a lot to do. A lot of what you see will probably appear to be quite trite. I'm looking forward to it. See if I can keep my legs getting better and get some more height. It's like a large can of, of whipped cream or something like that, but it's not. During the celebration, this is what I take this out like that and I spray this man with it like that. That's what that stuff is for. I'm going to flag because he's trying to attract attention to the chicken restaurant, which I will go eat in. This little house. Imagine you buy this. You have to know that for the rest of your life, you're going to be walking up that path. Up the road into town. I told you this is going to get really exciting because sometime we're going to get to the top. Some of these houses in town are abandoned like that one. Others not. 
many half finished. I almost think it's a tradition. You do the first part where the family grows, build up to the second floor. There's tires and probably damn near anything else. It gets done. Interesting tile because it's actually pieces of cut stone. Interesting, I don't know what she cooks in these ovens, huh? Yes. Bien. Yes. Maíz? Yes. Hey, ah, bien. Another hostel looks nicer than mine. Several of them up here do, but that's fine. Mine serves. Set on a cement base. Interesting. Looks like it could be pretty old. Imagine what its history is. The people who've lived here, their traumas, their joys, before everything got built up around them. Their old, primarily wood house structure. What it was for, I don't know. It might have been a commercial building. Looks like the upstairs there is wood too. There's another pretty well maintained, at least part of it, old wooden house. Acted like it was friendly till it got behind me and started to attack. Ran like a son of a bitch when I turned around. So I'm going to try and find the stick. If I can get a couple good shots at him, I might beat the crap out of a little fucker. Unless they're in a pack. Wooden building here with a thatched roof. I'd seen that out in the country once and I wondered if it was something that really was still part of the culture. I think it's a one way, but it's a fairly large road. I wonder where it goes. These are impressively large and reasonably well maintained, unless they're quite new. Um, what they're for, I don't know. I wouldn't give a rat's ass if it's one way. The literature I thought I looked at on the internet before I came said that their falls was right next to the Terminat, but talked to one woman suggests that the falls or cascades four kilometers away. Big rock is interesting, suspended right in the face of that face of rock. That's a conglomerate probably composed of rock brought down here by a lava flow. Or maybe they're a mud flow or lava. The monarch, I don't know if it's alive or not. Now, looking at my hostel, I'll expand down so you can see the rest of the village. <coughs> oh. I walked up. Back up there to find the pipes. Maybe that's what that long line going from lower left to upper right is. The uh, when I came here, we had driven for a long ways out of Kyoto, a long ways up steep hills with the bus uh, as powerful as it was, and it was more powerful than the other struggling to get up. So we then dropped over the edge, and now we're on our way down. If we were following the highways, you can see it goes down over there. So it's possible that this water system feeds everything downstream from here. Which seems dominantly yellow. Maybe they change color a bit. Here's another tree with a curious flower on it and it has a reverse color scheme. The yellow's at the bottom of the flower. And by that I mean the tips of the petals which are hanging down. The fruit of this tree, interestingly enough. And I've only seen it on the small tree here. be that the two upper ones in this view are immature blossoms. These red plants, the flowers over there, that are meshed with the tree that we've been looking at. Certainly a beautiful explosion of color. I think those two pipes come from, it looks like different directions, that there's the Y and then they parallel down to the bottom. In part, it's a hydroelectric plant. And those different pipes, probably installed at different times, probably go to different generators. I'm ready for that little bastard.
the local cemetery. And this looks like something for giving some kind of entertainment on this square in front of this interesting church. There's a pretty little water feature over here. And we've seen this bush before. But you can notice the two different colors. The roses, notice how they've quaffed this hedge-like structure. Shows appreciation 